Hi, this is Matt Macintosh, and in this video, I'm just quickly going to show you how you can go about using the morph targets um, to create your um, requirements for the brief. So um, what I've done here is I've got a head, I've duplicated it a number of times. As you can see, I've kind of pulled the verts around um, to create a number of different shapes. Um, so the key thing to bear in mind is that you can't add any more geometry to it. Uh, so it has to be the kind of final objects that you're using um, and you you can't really kind of uh, do too many kind of variations um, on top of one model because basically it will start adding up on top um, on the morpher so I'm just going to show you what I mean by that so um, go into your uh, drop down tab uh, where the modifiers are go for morpher and before you can do anything you need to capture its current state so accept that then what you need to do is where you've got all these boxes you can basically say right I want to capture the information from these other things so click your first box click on pick on object from scene and click on that object and it should add it into that um, box so if you um, apply the mod uh, morpher you can use the slider tab to actually see it in action Next um, one over, uh, pick that box, pick object from scene, click on it, and I'll do the final one here as well. Okay, so yeah, I mean basically um, each each one of these should kind of have independent elements because as I said earlier, um, if you do all those morph targets, they have like a, a cumulative effect. So each time you you create a, um, a face element, so if I was to add this again, it will add on top of the existing deformation. So if I click on uh, pick object from scene and I increase that up to 100, you'll see that it just keeps on extending it out. So always work on just individual parts like the eye closing or the mouth closing. Yeah, I mean, it's as simple as that, really. Um, there's not too much going on with it. Just students have asked me before, what's what's the process? And to animate this, just shove uh, an auto key on, move it to a frame, change it, and you'll see. They animates.